on to Jordan Luplo, who is just dynamic against left-handed pitchers, and that's why he's in the lineup. He lofts it to left, and Rodon gets it out to Andrew Vaughn from Jordan Luplo. We will show you next time he comes up. Two specifically. Cesar Hernandez, first pitch, is a strike on a fast up to 98 again, which he was on occasion in Seattle. But he really doesn't have to be to be effective. A few more off-speed pitches against these Indians. Oh, yeah? Like that. You think? Yep. One, two. Another changeup, two and two. We heard from Yasmani Grandal balls against Seattle, and that's something he's baked in along with that slider, which you saw right there. Doesn't handle well. On the ground to shortstop. Leori Garcia on the go for round number two. Him on the mound with the way Eddie Rosario has been swinging it in this series. Now Rosario can hit anybody, but lefty lefty, you neutralize him. Two balls, no strikes. On here. And he's had luck against Carlos, and Carlos has fallen behind. Ball was popping all night. You can see the game. Reyes goes to pluck the baseball from behind the plate. And Ramirez pops this up back toward home again. Zach Collins has it for round number three. And Car How fun was that last night? Well, we got we got an opera guy. Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, they were both terrific. The opera guy and <laughs> last night was your game. Both pitchers were just outstanding. Ball to strike on front meal. Or reads. I know. You get the essay question. Right. Then I get Marquette Bank for a week and a half. <laughs> Endings, but when you scan around Major League Baseball and you see the way teams have started, there is just not much spread. Dota's not exactly uh, tearing it up, and they get a really good team. That was a nasty breaking ball, and Reyes somehow laid off. The way Lindor. Cleveland's got a solid team. Reyes end of the bat to left. Andrew Vaughn parts to make the catch. Your 2021 Chicago White Sox are presented by Guaranteed Rate. Learn how you can turn your belief in a new home into action at rate.com. Well, I think Cleveland is going to be involved as well, and Kansas City is not going to be what they were last year. They're going to be a whole lot tougher. Pitching and how it holds up will determine how they do, but they're not going to get there. The division, at least at this point, is... I don't think I'm the only person who walked into a broadcast booth. Austin close up at Fenway Park coming up in a wraparound series this weekend. As Rosario dejectedly watches this ball end up with Andrew Vaughn. And two down. Here is Rosario. Ahmed Rosario takes a strike. He's five. He did. He crushed that ball. Off speed strike on two. Confident because he's working much more quickly. And that was, let me put you away, and he did with a ground ball to first base. So six up, six starting pitchers in the game longer. Well, they can keep him in a lot longer if they move it back to 68 feet. <laughs> the Indians wouldn't have one right now. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. Well, number one, it's going to take a while for these guys to get used to it. Madrigal to first, so there are some unintended consequences. One of the things that characterizes baseball is they don't change the dimensions. Right, and, and Major League Baseball and the minor league half feet from base to base. So, yeah, I, I'm i with you. I don't love the changing of the dimensions, but what I do love thing about it, and the way you try is you tinker. Well, right now, whatever it is they're doing to the baseball to deaden it some is the ability to get movement on the baseball, and there have been some early studies done about this year's Effect as Robert in the gap makes the catch. There's more movement on the base. Means the air will grab the seams a lot more, and you'll get quicker rotation and more movement on everything. Fastball. Not sure the exact intention. If it's to bring the home runs down, it's not going to achieve that. Yeah. Once again, at an all-time high in the time that we have measured fastball spin rate, as Chang goes up in the air to the third base side, it will be Garcia to make the catch. We didn't have enough time to stop. Could very well be. Carlos Rodon, nine balls in play, nine up, nine down. We have the stuff he had last time out against Seattle, but he's got great location. And the only thing you worry about is with that long inning, 
you worry about the location and if it slips away. That's where the concentration comes in. Ball away. 2 0. He missed high. 3 0 to Luplo. And we asked our stats people all the way back since 1974 the highest difference in on base plus slugging. How about that? Pretty impressive. And that's why he's still in the league. That's why he. 50 years or so, he is the best specialist against left handed pitching compared to what he does against right handed pitching. Now, 3 and 2. 3 and 2. He struck him out. Oh, and a primal scream from Carlos. Well, he came back and he got a very good hitter. You think he's competitive? I think he was pretty happy with the result of that at bat. Bat. To second. Madrigal. That's 11 in a row. They have an audio section now in Cooperstown. First pitch breaking ball 1 0 on Jose <laughs> Ramirez. Just starting to hit our stride. <laughs> one ball, one strike on Ramirez. It's a change up for a strike. One and two. High target, high fastball, and it's off the plate. Two and two. Ramirez to left. Andrew Vaughn squeezes the 12th straight out for Carlos Rodeo. First pitch. Got a strike inside corner, and he has thrown that change up for a strike. Pretty good about everything he's thrown tonight. If you're going to be Ramirez, most likely will be a better hitter. Reyes has huge power. Yeah, he's just a, a mammoth guy, as you saw. In the dirt, hit Collins the bare hand. Fastball by him. On 2-2. Two -two. Reyes went up to get it, and he flies it down the first baseline and foul. Another high fastball, pump foul. Very clear what the game plan's been this. Breaking ball shattered his bat. Body, but he is huge. Down in the zone. Moncada sweeps it up at third and rips it to first for the first out of the to open play tonight. Eddie Rosario well behind 96 that time. The big eight-run lead. Number two, he's just coming off being... Will this be a breaking ball to wipe out Rosario? He wanted to. He's... Yes. One, two. Rosario laid off two and two. Got him there. Rosario stepped away from the plate. That's the one. Nice. Two down for Ahmed Rosario. This fly ball to right. Adam Eaton tracking it toward the line. Adam against the... In the translation. It was worth it for the story. To shortstop, Leori Garcia. Abreu's got it and held the bat. Beat faster. Telemundo, the home for Las Chivas. Carlos Rodon. Leori Garcia to first. Got it. One gone in the sixth. The hardest ball of the night off Carlos Rodon. It was Luis Robert catching it in. Checked his swing. Two and one didn't go that time either. Hard right, tonight. He's high there. Three and one. On the Indians. Hit it hard to shortstop. Leori Garcia. Out number two. How long will. Carlos says appreciate you. And a first pitch too tall to Yu Chang. Tough enough to fight back through one major surgery. But after he did that and the rehab that went with it and everything where that maybe my body will not let me come back. 
Tell it. He's thrown it. He had no idea that they would be back in Chicago. As dad puts a change up. Yes, yeah, Dan, go for it. Fouled away. Two and two. He busted him on the inside corner. Now he faces a specialist against left-handed pitchers. Jordan Luplo, who looks at an arching curveball. Ineffectively, and that goes with that high fastball. Past Luplo on a... Two strikes. Luplo's cut down. Luplo was mystified. First pitch. Sky to center. Robert under it. Two down in the seventh inning. First pitch, ball one, to Jose Ramirez, one of the most dangerous hitters in this Cleveland lineup. Jose Rodon. He tied up Ramirez in a foul ball, first base. His 1-1 for Ramirez. Is up, 2-1. Two 2-1. And one. Two one. Now it's three balls and a strike. Cleveland has not had a base runner tonight. On three balls and one strike. Ramirez tattoos this ball to Andrew Vaughn of a Cleveland DH. Ball one. Of 2021. Nearly took him down to a knee. One and one. Jake Bowers. Strike one. Reyes Skyward and playable. Madrigal got out number one. Gamble. One ball, one twist in the American League since 2015. Wave and a miss on a slider, one and two. Crowd rises. One, two. He laid off. Two and two. He busted him on a fastball. His passion for the game comes through the jersey, and his body wouldn't let him. One strike to Rosario. Wave and a miss turned him all the way around. Oh and two. He got him. We're doing it together yeah. again. Rodon, first pitch breaking ball. Got a strike. Oh and one. Naylor can't find it. Oh and two. Tapper first base side. Abreu is on it. Jose got to the bag. One goal. It's Rodon. Roberto Perez. Strike one. Strike two. And oh, and two. Foul back. That was as hard as any Perez. For not getting out of the way. One ball, one strike. Next, got to block it. Inside, Perez. He got hit by it. Perez got. The no hitter is still alive, and here is Chang. He almost got hit as well. One and zero. Carlos Rodon has to recalibrate after the first base runner tonight. It's one and two on Chang. Carlos Rodon on one and two. Called strike three on the inside corner or in the neighborhood. And one out for a no-hitter. Regular season game. First pitch, a strike. It hit a menace to lefties. Luplo. One ball, one strike. Two strikes on one and two. 
Upstairs, Carlos was ready to dance. He said, yeah. Luplo said no. He reached back and got 99. Two and two. Upstairs. Tonight on three and two. Luplo smokes it foul off a slider. Three and two. Rodon. To third. Moncada. Carlos Rodon has 